Plumber died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. He killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. I dodged death many a time, and that night in Abilene was no different. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob, and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Show yourself, coward! <laughs> Would somebody kill him? Oh, <laughs> 
Sir Dan! I thought the Texas Rangers got hardened. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me. <laughs> Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. Families who put up money in hopes of finding justice. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. I'm freezing my giblets off. All right, we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't nobody stupid enough to go after Hardin anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. Why I was there. They knew. As 
most of them were wanted as well. I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun hands. And that was easier said than done, as most of them were as foolish and full of bravado as I was. to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Harden's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. <sighs> Another law dog. I can kill you with either hand! 